Oh, hey guys, Patrick here. So last time we were talking about um, truckers hitches and Z rigs, uh, mechanical advantage hauling systems, and where to place your most efficient hardware in a setup. Uh, and we said that in a simple system, uh, your most efficient hardware should go closest to the input, right? So today I wanted to, uh, to test that. I told you I'd take you guys out with the cameras and the load cells and we're gonna test that setup, okay? So I'm gonna show you the rig that I've set up here. Okay, so what I have, two trees. This end represents my load and I have a load cell on a sling down here. Okay, and then I have my line tied with a regular trucker's hitch, rope on rope friction there, and it runs back to an anchor point, which is just a sling and a carabiner. Okay, so that's my haul system. It's just a straight up trucker's hitch, nothing fancy. Uh, attached to the input of that trucker's hitch, I have a fiddle block, five to one, and on the end of that fiddle block, I have another load cell. Okay, so I'm gonna be measuring everything today in kilonewtons. Uh, kilonewtons are the, uh, the international unit that every, everybody uses for climbing and rigging gear. So a ki one kilonewton is roughly equal to 225 pounds or about 102 kilograms. So in this system today, uh, be, my, my rope runs from the load back to the anchor and then back to the middle here where I have a trucker's hitch and then to the input. So on the load line, I'm going to have approximately a, around 12 meters worth of, of line exposed uh, to this pull, to this, because it'll, it affects the stretch, right? So I'm going to try and set up all of these roughly the same way. Uh, so we're going to start with the most basic trucker's hitch. Again, carabiner at the back and rope on rope friction in the middle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by uh, cranking up the uh, fiddle block up to try to get it up to two kilonewtons and we will just see what that generates on the load end, all right? So here we are, I have my simple trucker's hitch with rope on rope friction and a carabiner and I've cranked it up on the fiddle block up to around two kilonewtons, okay? So it's fluctuating right around two kilonewtons. So that's the input, now let's see what the output is. So it's fluctuating right around 3.85 to 3.9. Okay. So in this example with this much rope, um, I'm getting just under a two to one advantage, right? So just a straight trucker's hitch, carabiner at the back and rope on rope friction in the middle. I'm, I will point out uh, it's not a proper 180 degrees, it's just off a little bit, but it's close enough. This is how I would use a trucker's hitch uh, in the field, okay? So, um, Moving along in testing different hardware, uh, what I'm gonna do now is instead of just the carabiner at the back, I'm gonna put a pulley at the back. Okay, so the next rig is gonna have pulley at the back and then rope on rope friction in the middle. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. So rope on rope in the middle and at the back, instead of just a carabiner, I've added a two inch rescue pulley, okay? So again, cranked it down on the fiddle block. So this was at two, 
about a minute ago and now it's down to one point well it's fluctuating quite a quite a bit that's one thing I will say with these load cells is they're so accurate that you get a lot of, of fluctuation. Okay, so if we call this 1.85 approximately, let's see what we got on the output. Okay, this one's fluctuating a lot as well. 4.25, 4.3. Okay, so when I initially pulled it before it stretched a little bit, it worked out to approximately 2.3 to one, which is a big improvement, right? So the basic trucker's hitch with a beaner at the back was about a two to one. This with the pulley at the back is about 2.3 to one. So for the next test, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna take that pulley out, go back to a carabiner, but in the middle, I'm gonna change from the dolly knot, I'm gonna change to a, a harness loop so that I can add a, a carabiner in the middle, okay? So the next test is gonna have carabiner at the front and the back. And we'll see what that looks like. So a carabiner at the back, on a sling and then carabiner in the middle. And then pulling on it with a five to one. So my input force right now, again, it was at two kilonewtons a second ago and then now it's around 1.9 to 1.94. So check the output down here. Okay, so we're down around 3.9. So I'm not sure what the math is on that, but I'll figure it out and put it on the screen for you guys. But you can see that this is clearly a uh, much lower efficiency than the last one, which was just a, uh, it was rope on rope in the middle and then my two inch pulley at the back. Okay. So that's an interesting result. Um, for the next one, I'm going to leave the carabiner in the middle and I'm going to put the two inch pulley back on at the back and see, see what that works out to. Okay. Okay guys. So the next setup is the trucker's hitch with carabiner in the middle and at the back, I have a two inch rescue pulley. Okay, so my input force is right around 1.85 to 1.9. Let's see what the output is. So between 4.4 and 4.5. So that's a big jump in efficiency. Again, I'll put some math on the screen for you guys. Okay. And then um, the last setup that I'm gonna do here is uh, it's a proper Z-Rig without the prusik cords. So I'm just gonna add uh, a pulley. Uh, where is it? Yeah. I'm gonna add a, uh, a Pinto rig pulley to the middle and I'm gonna keep the two inch pulley at the back. And uh, this will be obviously the most efficient, but I wanna see what it actually works out to, okay? So give me a second here. All right, guys, but before we look at that last example with two pulleys, I just want to follow up on the last video where the conclusion that we came away with was if we only had one pulley to add to a system like this, uh, our most efficient pull is going to come by putting that efficient hardware closest to the input, okay? So 
take a look at what I've set up here. I have my trucker sitch. I've moved the two inch pulley to the middle, closest to the input. And at the back, I have just a carabiner. Okay, so I've cranked the five to one down here. We're sitting at uh, just around two kilonewtons. It's moving around. Um, I do want to point out as we go along, as I'm adding more hardware and making this more efficient, it actually becomes harder and harder for me to crank this down to two kilonewtons each time. And that's because the less friction that's in the system, the more the system wants to pull back against my input, if that makes sense. Uh, something to keep in mind. So yeah, if this is sitting at around two kilonewtons, let's see what the input is. Okay. So this is sitting right around 5.15 kilonewtons. Um, I'll put some math up on the screen there. But yeah, what I'm saying is that very first test where I had rope on rope combined with carabiner friction, that was the easiest by far for me to crank that down. So something to think about. All right, so for the last test here, I'm gonna add the second pulley, which is a Z-Rig, and we'll take a look. Okay guys, so this is the last setup that I'm gonna to do today. Uh, this is a Z-Rig without the prusik cords. So in the middle, I have a Pinto rig pulley. And at the back, I have a two inch rescue pulley, okay? So with an input force of around 1.84, kilonewtons. Let's see what the output is. Okay, around 5.7. Okay, so that's closely approaching an actual three to one mechanical advantage. Keeping in mind, of course, uh, right here, I don't have a proper 180 degree angle, but other than that, you can also see I've completely maxed out my fiddle block. None of the other uh, tests even came close to maxing it out, and I didn't move. I haven't moved this Prusik for the last few tests. Actually, I haven't moved it once for the, the entire time. Once I set it on there, I left it. So that just shows you how much more rope is in play and how much more efficient a hauling system is like this uh, when you're using pulleys, right? So uh, hopefully that gives you guys some insight. It certainly gave me some, some things to think about in regards to uh, hauling systems. So uh, the good news is now I have two load cells, I can test almost anything that I can imagine. Uh, so I, I made a post yesterday on YouTube, on the community feed there, asking you guys what you would like to see. Uh, hit me up in the comments. Let me know if this stuff is helpful. Let me know uh, what you would like to see me. Uh, you know, we can explore all kinds of things. I have all kinds of gear with two load cells. I mean, the sky's the limit. So. Uh, let me know what you guys would like to do. Uh, hopefully that makes sense and you can get some value out of it. All right, until next time. These are my boys in their muddy pen. Tumnus and Mad Mardigan, Mr. Tumnus. <laughs>